Okay, hello. Um, uh, this is Chris Chinock. I'm with Insight Media. Uh, I am with uh, George Forbes from Immersive Display Solutions, who was at the ITSIC 2012 uh, trade show. So to tell me, uh, in your booth specifically, um, you had uh, two display systems. To tell me about those. Uh, we had two display systems. We actually shared a booth with MetaVR and Battlespace Simulation. Uh, and, and in our booth, both displays were networked to demonstrate an integrated JTAC training and rehearsal system. So we had our, our JTAC, uh, three meter JTAC dome, which consists of a, of a fabric, collapsible fabric dome display, the 220 degree horizontal, 90 degree vertical field of view that we had uh, lit up with with six channels of projection design F20 or F35 uh, WQXGA projectors. So we had a uh, equivalent of about 2.2 arc minute per pixel resolution on the screen. Wow, and, and oriented in a, a portrait mode, I believe. The the projectors were all were all oriented in in landscape mode on that dome. In landscape mode, and, okay. And that the dome was running uh, MetaVR's Versig image generation software, as well as Battlespace Simulation's Mace environmental generation software, uh, and and both those products, uh, in order to warp and blend the the image into a seamless image, we use scalable displays, scalable display manager for for the warp and blend. Okay. And then and then uh, network to that was a role player pilot station which was which used our new one and a half meter rear projected desktop display mm -hmm. uh, and, and that that desktop display had four f22 1080p projectors in uh, portrait mode uh, again running versigs image generation software and mace environmental generation software okay so that's that's the demonstration that was was physically in the in the joint booth at it took so a, 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 a pilot could sit at the rear projection uh, uh, desktop display and have a, uh, an actuator for, for flying the aircraft. And the, you had kind of a, a battlefield view then in, in the dome display. Is that correct? That is, that's correct. I mean, the, the purpose of the role player pilot station is to allow uh, a, a JTAC, an actual JTAC, to be in the dome and, and call in a, a call for fire or... Uh, a, a, a nine line, you know, the, the uh, scenario, and have the pilot actually be able to fly the fly the mission from the pilot station while the JTAC called the mission from the the JTAC dome. So it's a very integrated training environment that allows, you know, the the two entities, the pilot and the and the ground combat person, to to work together on a on a training scenario. Wow. That's really nice, especially that you can demonstrate a network capability at a trade show. Very impressive. Yep. Thank you.